Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Martin Kinsella and welcome to my video on what is my take on the best acne cleansers or some of the best acne cleansers out there on the market that you can buy even in a high street store or professional ones that you would have to go to a skincare clinic to get. When we look at acne skincare, the first and probably in my opinion the most important step is step one or cleansing your skin so you need to pick a good cleanser now when you're looking at cleansers and the type of cleanser and the ingredients it's really important for me to explain to you or to make it as simple as possible a little bit of background about acne itself so for acne you need three things you need dead skin cells you need oil in your skin and you need bacteria. The bacteria that cause acne is sometimes called P. acnes, which is a shortened down of a long medical name that you don't need to know. But P. acnes is a tiny, tiny microbe that lives very deep down within the oil of the skin. And combine that with excess oil, overgrowth of the bacteria, and clogged pores by dead skin cells, etc., in the oil, then you're gonna get flare ups and breakouts of acne. One of the really important things about a cleanser is lots of cleansers out there are designed to not only kill the bacteria and to wash the bacteria off, but they're also designed to reduce oil production and also break down and remove dead skin cells. So if you can get a cleanser that can do all three things, we are attacking the acne on all three points. So in my opinion, the best cleansers out there on the market, and I'm gonna give alternatives as well, but the best cleansers out there are oil-free gel lightweight cleansers containing salicylic acid. So firstly, why should it be oil-free? Well, as I said, you need oil to create acne, so we don't wanna add to the oil of the skin. Lots of people who have acne, they have oily skin. So why you'd wanna give a cleanser to increase that problem you don't wanna do that. So you want something that's oil-free or paraben-free. But on the back of wanting something that's not gonna to add to oil, we don't want something that's too astringent that's gonna strip the skin and strip all the goodness and the moisture out of the skin. So we wanna avoid something like that. So if you're gonna use a cleanser with acne, then you want something that's gonna combine very well with water. And it just so happens that these products that I didn't pick out because of that, but these products, which are some of my favorites, these are all foaming gels or products that combine very well with water and wash away. The second thing I like is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is something called a beta hydroxy acid, okay? And a beta hydroxy acid is a tiny molecule, a tiny molecule that penetrates all the way deeply down into the skin. It breaks down and removes dead skin cells. That's the first problem with acne. It penetrates through the oil and reduces the oil. That's part two to the acne and also kills bacteria. So we are attacking the acne again with salicylic acid on all three points. We're reducing the dead skin cells. We are killing the bacteria and we are reducing the oil. It's perfect. So I, like you, have been out into the skincare stores and the drug stores and looked at all these different acne products and thought, which one should I buy? And you've probably seen lots of these products, bar probably these three here, which are more professional range. So what I've done is I've rearranged the products now into price order and I'm gonna take you through them. So the first products here are things like Neutrogena's scrubs, blackhead eliminators. Again, these are oil-free scrubs or exfoliators with salicylic acid. So if you think about it, we're naturally exfoliating the skin and cleansing the skin. We're also using salicylic acid that's gonna remove dead skin cells, break your oils down and kill the bacteria that's causing the acne. And again, the Johnson & Johnson one, this is actually a cream wash, but it's again, it's oil-free. There's no parabens, no oils in it, and it has salicylic acid in it. Um, cream washes can be fine. It doesn't have to be a gel like this one. I like gels because they're the lightest, but sometimes a cream wash is pretty good because it can help soothe the skin, especially with people who get very, very irritated skin. So cream washes do have their place. So these two products here, you're looking at three or four pounds, very, very cheap, up to about five pounds for your sort of 
the Neutrogena gel type products. Now I've thrown this product in, this Carbon Theory soap, because this has got a lot of hype around it at the moment. So this is a product that contains charcoal and tea tree oil. I like charcoal because it gets into the skin and it draws out dirt and dead skin cells and debris from the skin and also eliminates bacteria, but it really doesn't strip the skin. So it's quite soothing. It's not very irritating. So if you're a price sensitive shopper looking for a high street product available in one of your high street pharmacies or drugstores, then these four products I think are pretty good and I'm gonna put them now to one side. So we're gonna focus on slightly more expensive products and these range up from about 10 pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. So a lot of people with acne have very, very sensitive or very irritable skin. So you might not want products like the other ones, which are quite as astringent. They might not be suitable for their skin. They need something that's a little bit more calming and a little bit more soothing. So a lot of doctors recommend products like La Roche, which they're not, while not oil free, they're a, a light cream wash or a milk wash that gives a soothing effect, but you still get the wash away effect. So you get effective cleansing and a much more soothing effect on that sort of hot, inflamed, irritable skin. So lastly, I come to the slightly more professional products, um, it's higher in price range. And these products typically you're gonna find more in an aesthetic clinic like this. Now, firstly, I've just thrown in a glycolic cleanser. Now, glycolic acid cleansers are different to salicylic acid. Where I said before salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, glycolic is an alpha hydroxy acid. And alpha hydroxy acids are very big molecules. Remember I said salicylic is tiny, well, glycolic is a very big molecule, so it sits more on the surface of the skin. And actually, glycolic's really good for helping reduce oil and removing dead skin cells. If you use too much of it, you might get some irritation. So it's not always the best if you've got sensitive skin or irritated skin, but it's great to help treat mild acne or mild breakouts. The price of this product is around 25 pounds. So you're now into a significant step up. But again, it's a great alternative if you've tried salicylic and you really don't get on with it, you could try light glycolic acid. So finally, we come on to some professional skincare products like Abaji, specifically things like Abaji Cleansoderm. This has got a 2% salicylic acid in it, so it's a professional use. It's a liquid cleanser with a high strength of salicylic acid, so you know that it's they're not gonna add any oil to your skin. It's gonna basically do all the jobs that these do, but on a better scale. It's more professional, and also it's got things like menthols and stuff that helps cool the irritated skin. But again, reflective in the price, so products like this are gonna be 40 to 50 pounds. So stay tuned to learn more about professional prescription skincare systems that we use for acne in clinic. I'm going to cover them in other videos. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've found some use in this. You can go out now, understand why we look for what we look for in cleansers and how they relate to your acne. If you've got any feedback or comments, please leave comments below. Please like and subscribe mine and Hannah's channel uh, and stay tuned for some more videos. I'll see you very soon.